All right, everyone, brothers and sisters, what I'm about to share with you is very, very disturbing. I want to warn you ahead of time, but I feel it very important uh, because it just may be a signal, a red alert uh, to be prepared for the rapture, the imminent rapture of the church to take place, for Yeshua, for Jesus to break the sky at any time. I've always stated that Satan is as anxious as we are for the rapture of the church to take place so he can uh, continue on uh, trying to uh, take over the throne he believes of God and for the great tribulation to begin. Um, now we know how Satan has infiltrated every aspect of organized religion, the music industry, the movie industry, the Illuminati, the occult, and how, especially in the movie industry, that uh, there will be a movie come out and it will be kind of like uh, letting you know through subliminal messages and through the plot of the movie of an event that has already happened or it foretells of something that is about to take place. That's how the enemy works. That's how Satan works. What I'm about to present to you is total, complete blasphemy. Now, we got to remember, I just seen the movie not too long ago, Iron Man 3, and it was full of Illuminati symbolism, and it kind of told the story of uh, Osama bin Laden and uh, uh, hijacked planes. It's kinda, and, and look at uh, The Simpsons, and look at uh, Family Guy. There's just so many, so many. Now, there's a movie that is coming out, and it's called Rapture Palooza. It is total blasphemy. I'll put the link, if I can find the link, to it's on YouTube where you can see the trailer. I don't want to run the trailer now, for one. It's uh, rated R, restricted, and I'm sure there's licensings and other issues to where they're not going to allow me to play it anyway. Not that I want to play it, but let me just give you a rundown. It has zombies. It has an, a zombie apocalypse. Uh, a lot of things that we have been following. We have been watching the signs. It's all about the signs and the rapture where billions of people are raptured but it's done in such a horrific way complete blasphemy now there is uh, blood raining from the sky they're in their vehicle and they got the windshield wipers on and there is blood pouring from the sky there is a man sitting on a toilet and I'm just going to be uh, blunt with you and when the rapture takes place, he's lifted up off of the toilet seat. They are making fun. They are mocking the rapture of the church and the second coming of Jesus of Yeshua. They've got the Antichrist who is, uh, well, you'll see. You'll see. I'm not saying it's uh, trying to tell you that it's Barack Obama, but uh, you, you'll see. I'm going to show you some pictures in a moment. The worst thing that I've seen in this movie, they've got locusts, talking locusts, and um, the Antichrist has this, and they call himself the Beast, uh, this gigantic type of a laser gun, and he's wiping out parts of the United States. And there is a scene, it's total, total blasphemy, where one of the key players, and they're trying to save the world and stop, um, of the Antichrist, uh, they see uh, Yeshua, Jesus, coming, or the second coming, riding on a white horse, and the young man aims the gun before he realizes what he's doing, and with a laser, and he shoots Jesus out of the sky. Then there's some guy dressed in a white suit saying, uh, you, just, um, you just fried my son. It is total, total blasphemy. Let me take you to a little bit of this. Uh, and there, we need to somehow boycott this. I don't know what can be done, but I've never seen the likes of this in my lifetime. Exclusive Gallery, Rapture Palooza, your first look at exclusive stills from Rapture Palooza, uh, Palooza the apocalyptic comedy. And I'm not even going to give credit to who is starring in this. And, and they've got zombies, and she's sitting there trying to hold in case he uh, vomits. The funniest part of the apocalypse is usually the post- uh, part, and I'm not going to give their names, uh, Raptor Palooza, the new comedy about everyone left on Earth after the 
faithful are raptured up to heaven the beast and he wants to marry uh, the I won't even say it the hell out of this young lady here I guess there's some type of affair between her and uh, she thinks that she can have an affair with the Antichrist that's a, how, how horrific this is this young lady here but she can stab him and save the world I don't know brothers and sisters um, and, and these are the two main characters and this is the one that wants to uh, have an affair with the Antichrist the Beast and this is the young man that has a laser, takes the Antichrist somehow his laser gun and shoots Jesus coming down to do battle at the Battle of Armageddon shoots Jesus out of the sky um, I don't know. I don't know if I can show you any pictures, if it'll, if it'll work. Nowhere is safe from the effects of the rapture in Rapture Palooza, a new end of the world comedy. I don't see anything funny about it. When the apocalypse uh, actually happens and a billion people are raptured up to heaven, and I'm not going to give credit to these actors and actresses, and uh, the, the young lady we just seen and her boyfriend, Ben, are left behind in uh, suburban Seattle. The young couple tries their best to lead a normal life surrounded by talking locusts, blood rain showers, and pot smoking wrath. But when the beast um, makes his home base in uh, their neighborhood, Lindsay finds herself the object of his affection. With the help of her family, friends, and a lawn mowing zombie neighbor, do you see the? Do you see where this is? How Hollywood does this? I believe and the only reason I'm doing this video is not to promote this movie. Is this may be the signal for the rapture of the church? Zombie uh, mowing the lawn. Uh, the young couple set off to stop the Antichrist from taking her as his bride, and just maybe saving the world in the process. And um, I don't know if I can show you. I don't know if you want to see. Uh, YouTube has the trailer. I don't want to even... Uh, if, if I had permission to play the trailer, I don't think I want to. But I want to get your opinion. I believe we may be on the brink of the rapture of the church. Let's see. This is so... Uh, um, let me see. It's funny how when I click on a picture, now here's the person playing the Antichrist. And um, it's, a, it's a, a black person. A lot of people do that. I don't believe Barack Obama is the Antichrist uh, at all, but it, I just find it odd that the Antichrist is black. Um, let's continue on just a little bit. See if I can find any more pictures not that we want to see them and there's the Antichrist and uh, you got in the background what looks to me like uh, the men in black uh, with their sunglasses on and you got the Antichrist and this is one of the neighbors you see the symbolism you see uh, what I'm talking about here and there we go again and I believe that may be all of the pictures it is and there's the young uh, heroes of the day and again it's just blasphemy talking locust blood rain uh, it shows the rapture billions of people being raptured I think it's a signal there's a, a, a guy sitting on a toilet and it shows that with his pants around his ankles and he's being caught up Sound like the director of this movie, Illuminati, Hollywood, uh, the occult, demonic influences. It, 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 Hollywood is known to, through subliminal messages and through movies, to let you know of an event that's already happened, that they are, they are telling you they already knew or of something that is about to take place. And I got a good feeling uh, Satan is ready. He might know something. Uh, I think this is a high rapture uh, rapture alert. You want a rapture video? You want a, a, a 
uh, to hear a, a rapture dream. This is no dream. This is reality. We might be on the verge of the imminent rapture of the church. Leave me comments, everyone. <laughs>